just finally, as is, when this attack first happened on the, the 7th of, of October, a lot of people reached for justification first rather than empathy for the Israeli people living in the south, these young people at the festival, families, children in southern Israel. What is your view on that? Are you able to both condemn the actions of Hamas and condemn the actions of Israel's retaliation? I think it's really important when we see civilians suffer, we sympathize and feel the pain regardless. We, we don't ask what's your nationality, what's your religion, what's your ethnicity, so I can decide if I feel for you or not. Look, this is personal for me. I have friends, I have Jewish friends, uh, Israeli friends, I, I'm a peace activist. These people who are hurt are people who I know personally. I have a friend who still hasn't been found. We anticipate, think, she is in Gaza. I know people who've been killed. And I have many, many Israeli friends who lost family members. By the way, not only Jewish, also Arab friends, yeah. Palestinian friends in, in the south of Israel. One of them is the son of a fellow peacemaker who's, uh, who was a uh, ambulance driver and a medic who refused to leave uh, when he saw people being injured uh, and went to help and eventually was killed for Was that it, your friend? Guy. Was that your friend, Aziz? Uh, the I, I've father seen, is. The right, father. I've seen that story. Yeah. So he, he, spoke, he speaks Arabic, he's Palestinian. He thought that he could actually negotiate with the terrorists. Is that right? Uh, we know, I don't know the exact details of how he was killed, but I know when he was told to leave uh, the, the event because he had the ambulance, he refused and he said, there are people here who needs my help and I'm going to stay to help. And he paid his life trying to save uh, the Jewish people there. And I think this is really important because often it gets painted into Jews versus Muslims or Jews versus Palestinians. And it's not that simple of an us versus them. If we look at this story, and there are a few or many other stories like this, um, maybe we have to redefine it uh, a little yeah. bit. I, I don't see, I don't see us always on opposite sides. In in many cases, we're not. I see it as those of us Israelis and Palestinians who are together for mm -hmm. justice and for peace, and those who are not there yet and still like. I'll tell you just one. Anecdote. Today, an Israeli friend of mine called me and said, I just need somebody to cry with. Mm -hmm. And he is heartbroken for what's happening in Gaza. He's heartbroken for what happened in Israel. We both don't like Hamas and honestly don't like the Israeli government. Uh, and we think we are where we are because our governments have done very little to stop and to come to a deal and finish this conflict, which we could have, and it's totally possible, long time ago. And now we're all paying the price for that not being done. And there are many young victims and citizens right in the middle of that. Aziz, it's been a pleasure to talk to you today. We really thank you for your time. Thank you. Thank you for having me.